Have you ever had a project that has gone completely sideways? Judging by the silence, I guess you definitely have. And this is what happened to me too. The whole idea was to make an EV conversion. But later I thought, wouldn't it be cool to document this on YouTube? And off I went, starting this channel and posting videos of my EV conversion. Naturally, I wanted to keep a weekly upload schedule. In reality, I could not do enough to make an interesting video in one week. So I came up with a plan. I would alternate between posting an EV conversion video and an educational video every other week. Genius. Or so I thought at the time. But what was ironic that some of those EV educational videos were doing much better than my EV conversion videos. Hmm. That surprised me. My brain was getting dopamine hit and I wanted to make better educational videos and inevitably I spent more time working on them. But man, that was harder than I thought. Making those videos take a lot of effort and time and I could not keep up with my EV conversion work. So I decided to take a break from YouTube and the project and think what I really wanted to do. And now I'm back. And I made my mind up. EV conversion, that is my passion and that's what I'm going to focus on from now on. And now I need to get back where I left off. And that is spinning the Tesla motor. Hello there. This is a Tesla motor. I bought it almost eight months ago on eBay. It was rather cheap. And since then I managed to spin it. And this is the setup that I had. I didn't have a chance to touch it any further. But this is going to change now. If you need to catch up, have a look at the playlist over there. The first task of the day for me is to replace all this wiring with the proper cables and proper setup. But before I do that, I want to make sure it's still working and it's still spinning. And I bet when I turn it on first time, it probably will not work. What do you think? I have reconnected all of the cables there. Pre-charge contactor, main contactor and the high voltage cable. I didn't think it would work and I can't believe it actually works. I've done already pre-charge and the main contactor and just a gentle squeeze of the throttle. Well obviously you can't see it but hopefully you can hear it. So now I've moved the camera and if you watch these shafts should rotate. They're rotating towards me and now I'm going to change the direction. Flip over switch and hopefully they will be rotating. Yeah, now they're rotating in opposite direction now. Excellent. Actually, I could not believe it was going to work. As a next step, I wanted to tidy up the inverter cables and to have them in an easy to remove attachment with the contactor box. I made an extension wires and quickly soldered them to an existing spaghetti or wires I already have. This lot will need to be combined in a manageable wiring harness. I rewired all these spaghetti or wires into sort of more or less tidy up wiring harness and we do have a start switch and direction switch. Uh, at the same time all the contactors and pre-charge resistor are in this box and this is on off switch so where we have 12 volts input plus minus and these are the signal that go into the open inverter at the same time this is the wiring harness for the accelerator pedal the question is will this motor work after i rewired it let's find out so first i'm switching on the 12 volts and next I want to switch on the high voltage. So now high voltage is on. So this is this module of so the power supplies. Now the high voltage is on. I can turn on the controls and I get ready with the switches. And now, so we can hear the pre-charge resistor is started. And now if I press start, which now switch to the main contactor and switch, set up the direction. And now I can hopefully... And now I can drive the motor. 
Now go opposite direction. And it goes in the opposite direction. Fantastic. I think we achieved our goal for today. And we can turn the system off now.